Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with yet another Reddit story for you. This one comes from AITA and is titled, Am I the Astronaut for Refusing to Cook for My Boyfriend Anymore Because He Always Fixes My Meals? I, 32 female, have been with my boyfriend, 34 male, for about a year now. We've moved in together recently, and while everything has been great, there's one thing that's really starting to bother me. Every time I cook, he insists on fixing my meals. To clarify, I'm a pretty good cook. I'm no professional chef, but I know my way around the kitchen, and my friends and family have always enjoyed my cooking. However, my boyfriend has this habit of hovering around while I'm cooking, tasting everything, and then adding extra spices, salts, or other ingredients without asking. (laughs) Without asking? Can you imagine if I did this to you? Can you imagine if you came to the grill while I was grilling and just started throwing shit on there? Yeah, (laughs) you know how to approach it. Sometimes he even goes as far as changing the whole dish by adding things like hot sauce or extra cheese, completely altering the flavor. At first, I just let it go. But after months of this, it's driving me nuts. I put effort into making meals and he always feels the need to tweak them. It makes me feel like my cooking isn't good enough for him. Last night, I made dinner and told him straight up that I don't want him to fix it this time. He did anyway, dumping extra seasoning into the pot while my back was turned. I got so frustrated that I told him if he doesn't like the way I cook, he can make his own meals from now on. He thinks I'm overreacting and that it's not a big deal. He even accused me of being controlling about food. Oh, pot, meat, kettle. (laughs) That is a gaslit stove you've been working on, right? I, on the other hand, feel disrespected because I've asked him multiple times to stop. So am I the astronaut for refusing to cook for him anymore after he keeps altering my meals? No, NTA. We got one right, crew. Heck yes. NTA. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. I'm I'm into you here. If you're different, let me know. However, yes, the projection here, the gaslighting here. So hearing it's not it's not a big deal. You're overreacting. Those are the first two strikes because those are the first two plays, right? Uh, you're crazy. Like, look, you're being controlling about food. No, 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 no. He knows it's wrong because even when you asked him to stop, he did it behind your back. He's, it's compulsion for him. He can't control it. Why is my question? And maybe, maybe it's because I'm just question. I'm in a season of life where I'm questioning everything. But I'm, I'm, why? Why, is, why does he feel the compulsion to do this? That would be my question here, OP. You are right. It is absolutely disrespectful. It is absolutely not okay, especially it's still happening after you've created a boundary and and said, do not do this. Now, it's not really a boundary. You made a request. A boundary is something that has consequences. Now, him doing it after you said not to, you said if he doesn't like the way uh, you cook, he can make his own meals from now on. So that's that's kind of creating a boundary after the fact. I think you need to stick to that now and be like, no. If you are going to add shit, I am not cooking. That is the deal. Let him cook for a little while. And when he's cooking for a little while, go in there and start it up on purpose like he does and, and show him what it feels like to have a plan, to be executing that plan and to have someone, someone come in and just like stomp on it and throw mud all over your plan. Let him feel what that feels like if he can't understand this. So there's that side of it. The other side of it is why the f*** does he do this? Why does he feel the need to do this? Maybe he grew up in an environment where dad did this to his mom and that was okay. But but you guys are just now living together. And I feel like it's very, very, very important in 2024 to live together for probably a solid year before you marry somebody. There are so many idiosyncrasies that you just you don't know until you're there living with each other. That might drive you crazy, or might be deal breakers, or like this, you'll discover about somebody that that would drive you crazy and, and would be, you know, seemingly a small event, but on repetition could grow into a big enough deal to ruin a marriage, right? So it, learning about these things up front is good. I'm glad that you guys are doing this before getting married because that would be dangerous. But why? I would want to have a conversation with him and be like, why do you feel like that's okay? Like, did your parents do that? Did in the house that you lived in before with your broskies, was that like a thing that was okay? And then explain to him the rules of of your kitchen, your relationship. And if you are going to be the cook, that shit's not going to fly and create some kind of, of consequence for crossing that boundary. You've already introduced it, but just say, look, this is how it's going to go. I will cook 
But the instant that you cross my boundary, I will not cook again for a week. You're going to have to cook. You're going to have to cook for everything for the next week. Something has to be serious here. But he, it's a compulsion for him because it, not only is he gaslighting you into, into, into the whole, it's not a big deal territory here, which sucks for him. He gets this, by the way. For, purely for his responses, he, he gets this. Uh, also, it's like he's turning everything into frat food. And I don't, it's like adding hot sauce and cheese to everything. Bro, it's time to eat like a big boy. Come on now. Let her make a grown-up meal. It'll be okay. But I would dive into it, try to figure out why. And it may be easier to to untangle that mess, whatever makes him feel like he wants to do that, once you understand the why side of it. 